Hey Taurus, how are you doing? This is a bonus reading for Taurus for the month of December, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link, it will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. Also, shout out and a thank you for all the ways that you like, share, and subscribe. I couldn't do these readings without all your wonderful support. So thank you so much. I'm so truly grateful. What is going on for the fabulous and most amazing Tauruses? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, temperance, major arcana for Sagittarius. What's coming towards you? The six of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. What you are focused on? is the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. In your blocked and challenged position is the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and your outcome is the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Okay, Taurus, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Wands is a one-sided situation, frustration, and burnout. Temperance is about mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually grounding your energy. Come back into your body so that you feel more in harmony or whole and complete. That way, there is no burnout. And offload some kind of baggage. This could be a relationship, a job situation, or releasing and letting go or some kind of task or responsibility, offloading it. And with the Page of Swords being in your focus, Page of Swords is inquiring, being inquisitive or asking a lot of questions, digging up the dirt, or there might be a need for you to apply. So if you're applying to some kind of new job or if you are relocating and moving, because there is some kind of like leg up or supportive energy or some kind of grant, giving and receiving, sharing and caring, reciprocity, or there's donating. So if you have been cleaning out the clutter, the clutter, cleaning something in your home, it's like make room, make space. But there also could be spying, watching, keeping tabs on another individual, or feeling triggered. So triggers come up for you to look at something. But here, if you're feeling bogged down, weighed down, or you're carrying a one-sided situation, yeah, that would trigger me too as well. But you don't have to react. Just take a look at it. Or there is somebody who is very reactive. This person is pushy in communication or trying to push something, force something. It's on divine timing. It means you're protected on your journey. Or how much more do I want to compromise in this situation? Am I getting anything in returns? Or am I getting crumbs? And the Two of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. And the Two of Cups is very beautiful soulmate, soul bond energy. Or you finding a nice balance in your own emotional regulation. Leaning back in this beautiful feminine energy. Being open and receptive to help and support. And knowing when to spring onto your masculine side and to take action. Or there is some kind of harmonic or beautiful two of cups energy. This could be a soulmate. This could be just a fun friend or, you know, somebody who has your back. Or it is also the universe. The universe here has your back. So anything that you want to do or take action on, it's like go ahead and do so. And you could be looking into, well, how do I make more money? Or what do I need to express here? Because the Ten of Wands is an energy of needing to delegate or off-duty something. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. Let's see what this uh, Six of Pentacles is. Or like get, getting some kind of lucky opportunity. But get more information. 
yeah, and the magician. Major Arcana for Gemini Virgo. And the magician is like what goes around comes back around. Or you have all the tools, all the elements to manifest whatever the frick you want. And as above, so below, and so it shall be. Or you're trying to manifest this union, this friendship, this harmony, or even finding your own sense of peace. Yeah, this is very kind and composure on someone's end here. Whether it's yours here, Taurus, but see how you're watching? Who are you watching? King of Swords could be somebody who is a judge, lawyer, doctor, an attorney, or signing some kind of paperwork. There's paperwork. And this is about simplifying and neutralizing things in your life. Anything complex must go. This is the card of alchemization. Alchemy. Alchemy. So it feels more of like alkaline versus acidic. If you know what I mean. So maybe this is like balancing your pH levels. Or just finding a lot more balance in life. Or something you have manifested. It's like receiving it. Receiving your manifestation. Or maybe you're in the process of starting to write things down. I want to grow my business. And anything you give positive attention to here, Taurus, you will thrive. This could also be, I want more confidence to, you know, be in my body and love my body. I want to have more confidence and discipline in getting out in nature and taking good care of my own emotional happiness. What is this page of swords? What is this news communication? This could also be like email, text message, word of mouth. It is also my um, spy or somebody is a parrot. Somebody does a lot of talking. Talk, 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 talk. All this person does is talk. But is there talk and walk matching? So just watch because the magician can be like a trickster energy or a tricky situation with a person. And the Seven of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Okay, so there's a thing in life where we can be proactive or reactive. This Page of Swords is inquiring and looking at all these choices, choices and options that you have. But this is like my fight, flight, or freeze mode. So it's like you're looking at things, you're hoping and wishing for these things, but the procrastination is so much heavier. This is also limerence or illusion. And again, you don't have all the information. Or somebody is trying to figure you out. Or there's an element of like communications or mixed feelings, mixed emotions. You're not really sure where you stand with the person. If you don't know where you stand with the person, there's a lot more being hidden behind the scenes than you realize. Or there's more depths to this person. Um, what is it? Off Shrek? Um, ogre. I'm I, like an onion, right? There's more things to be peeled back. Get more information because not all these cups are good for you. Or is the fantasy and dreaming of one day I'll have this? Why not be right now? So apply to that place that you think is like your dream job. Go ahead and apply. Because you, if you don't ask, you don't receive. And here, there's like some kind of like trigger or somebody kind of like jealousy or envy or there's a fantasy and in the blocked and challenged position is this Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is a new beginning, new opportunity, new possibility. It speaks of passion, creativity, ambition, or empowering oneself. So a need for you to empower yourself, to have confidence, or you want something new. But the fight, flight, or freeze and procrastination and talking about it, the walk needs to be, the walk and talk needs to be the same here. 
This can also be like man, child, woman, child. And the five of wands, Gemini, Libra, or sorry, <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And the fives in the tarot signifies change. Something has to change. Something has to give in order for there to be change. You have to be the change. So what is so distracting to you right now here, Taurus, that it's causing procrastination? And then again, you're like, okay, well, I need to clean out my cupboard. And then you're like, uh, but you know what? I'm just going to scroll for another 15 minutes on TikTok. Ooh, what's that? Maybe I should add that to cart. Oh, what is that person doing? Oh, I could never do that job. Yeah, I know. I probably would. The, there's too heavy of a competition, so I'm just going to not look at that. No, I'm not going to take action on that. You see what I'm getting at here? And five of wands is drama, conflict, arguments, fighting, tension. Or there's something about your confidence. Like low self-esteem and needing to regulate this. Or... There's too much competition in this niche. There's too much competition at this job. Or are you even taking action? You're watching a lot. You're looking at things. Or maybe you're looking at somebody's relationship and thinking, gosh, I wish I had that. You can have that. You just need to take action. Strength card, empowering oneself. Internal healing. You're more braver, more stronger, and more courageous than you're giving yourself credit for. Be brave, be bold, be beautiful, and come into this energy. Because this is loving on yourself. Every single bit and piece of yourself. And here, that's that kindness and compassion and compromise. Let's see what this King of Cups is. If it's possible for another person, it's possible for you. But the fantasy or the limerence or whatever this is, confusion, fogged in, you need to get more information. Okay, well, go ask questions. You're like, well, I kind of want to apply there, but I can't apply there because I don't have the skill set. Some jobs will hire you right on the spot and teach you. You're going to learn. Can't see the forest through the trees. Let's see what this King of Cups is. King of Cups is somebody kind, caring, devoted, loyal, hardworking. This person is able to respond, but they don't overreact emotionally. This is a high emotion. So reacting out of some kind of situation or you've seen something, you heard something, and it's reactive in you. But there is an energy telling you to get back into this balance of emotion. This is not regulated emotion. This is balance emotion. When you balance your emotion and compromise mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, come into your body, this is scattered energy, scattered thinking. This is balanced. And again, this is when you start to pull in manifestations or start building something. Let's see what this King of Cups is. King of Cups could also be something about highly intuitive or just big love, big heart. Could also be like a kind, caring person who works in the medical field or a counselor or a therapist. And maybe you've been dragging your feet on this. You keep talking about you're going to go see a counselor and work through anything that makes you kind of feel up in the air or your emotions rocky and then again you're just like well I don't know what counselor to see so I'll just procrastinate on it and then look at everybody else's life or whatever that's how would it how it feels but just apply that to what I'm trying to get at and justice wow beautiful energy major arcana for libra and it's funny because I said Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here, but it was definitely the five of wands, like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There could be an element of a new contract, a new living location. And this is about balance, equality, sharing and caring, equilibrium. And this is a nice emotional balance and also 
right here. See, it's there. There needs to be something that needs to change. There's a, a change here. It's like watching and doing. So somebody who you are watching, keep watching this person because it's helping you develop into this versus this energy. So King of Cups follows his heart. He or she, creativity, joy, this feels good. But this is about karmic balance. Balancing of the scales or getting out of some kind of connection, commitment that maybe you used to have a lot of love for. Could be a job. But I feel like this is some kind of offering. And it feels really warm. You know, the King of Cups is, there's a gentleness, like a gentle giant. And justice is about, you know, um, something about your intelligence or signing something that you love. Tower. There is something that you do need to offload, though. Or if there is an element of bringing balance and harmony into your life, it's the alchemization. Anything complex must go. So this could be an element of like, okay, I call up a friend. This friend never gets back to me. I'm confused where I stand with them. And here it's like, stop giving to this person and start giving to real things. Or put your time and effort into the real things. Express your creativity. It's right here though. So you're watching or looking at what it is that you would like to do or what avenue you want to walk down. You're talking a big story here. But the, the walk and talk needs to match. This is about the discipline. Going back to being more disciplined with yourself means going to work, coming home, getting your gym shoes on, eating a nice meal, and letting go of any kind of like processed foods, people who are just there one day gone the next and trigger the F out of you, let them go. And it says, thank you angels for helping me to express my inner creator. It's coming from the core. So somebody is doing something that you want to do, but the fight, flight, or freeze mode is so much heavier. Or this could be somebody around you who is super jealous and envy and emotional. This person is a complete normal person one day and completely bat shish the next day. If that's you, maybe you do need to see somebody. Maybe there's something you're hormonal going on. And you're like, yeah, you know, I, I'll look into it maybe. Yeah, I'm going to get to it. When when are you going to put yourself first here? New beginnings. Thank you, angels, for opening up the doors to change. I am ready. And you're calling it in. So there could be an element of you being a little bit caught off guard or by surprise that you're going to get the loan. If you just put your resume or feelers out there or... If you're looking into getting a loan and you're just picking one bank, do you know that there's a heck of a lot of other places that you can get a loan? Just watch the distractions. So if you're watching, I don't know, tarot readings all day, instead of watching tarot readings all day, go watch some kind of motivational speaker audiobook or um, empowering oneself, audiobooks. This is going to build your confidence, boost your stamina. Because confidence is key to your success. So if you're not feeling, you know, feeling a little bit fogged in, the fog will lift and then you're going to see this about yourself. Manifesting miracles Archangel Orion, thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my life. So you're manifesting definitely something new. And it does, or you are confused on how you have to tell your boss that you're leaving this job and taking something else. Because this is also delivering some kind of news. But just watch the emotional side of it. 
because it's very reactive. So we want to be proactive, not reactive. Signs from heaven. Thank you, heaven, for sending me reminders of your presence as your past one, loved ones, your angels, your guides, cheering you on. It's pushing through limitations. So if you've been very triggered and you react emotionally to all situations in the world, it's very hard to grow from this page of swords. You're just going to keep learning lessons and keep learning lessons and keep learning lessons. And you're just going to be like, I'm so confused. Why am I not getting ahead? Watch your reactions. And you're like, this person's reactive. Okay, we'll move away from them. Shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. What are you spending your money on? Add to cart, add to cart. Do you need any of this? It's like impulse. Gavel, gable, involvement with the law. It's going to be good. Fly. A period of ill health or depression. So we're just going back to, yeah, you know what? I know that I react more than be proactive. I know that I drag my feet. I know that I procrastinate. I know all this. Okay, let's get it. Let's get the ball rolling here. Let's get you uh, straightened out here. But this can also be a, a younger person around you who is very triggered and reactive and we can only help people so much before understanding that they have to do the work. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Ladder, climbing towards success. So here, there's like a new offering, but you might have to move or relocate. Wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. Could be a job. Could be this new opportunity. Or something to do with this. Um, right here, this justice, it's any kind of legal paper. Anything legal. Insurance company, anything. Victory in some endeavor. Mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Who's the stubborn one here? Are we going to point fingers? Or are you just going to keep trying with this person and being like, oh no, you know, um, maybe I'll maybe I'll try it this way. Limerence and fantasy or whatever is going on. This person is set in their ways. You can't change this person, but what you can change is your focus. What are you looking at? That, take care. Enemies are working against you. Yeah, you, you do. You have competition, but that doesn't mean you can't beat out of the competition. Dogs getting together with friends right here. Who are the people that are loyal to you, that are watering your garden, and that are giving and receiving and giving back? And who's playing mind games and trickery? Because playing mind games and trickery, or if that is an energy of maybe that used to work on a person, but now they're not reacting and now you feel triggered by it, what, vice versa, whatever. You know, it's somebody stubborn and firm and just a jack arse, right? Rainbow. The most difficult part of this situation is over. What's at the end of the rainbow? Healing, blessings, and luck. A pot of gold. Pot of gold and tent. It's temporary. The fog will lift. That's what I was saying. I was like, don't worry. You don't have to have all the answers right today. But just don't drag your feet or procrastinate or find yourself less like disciplined. I would say just stay disciplined. And if you don't understand a conversation or something about writing, get help. This means, okay, I... I I know a little bit about this accounting, but I have to pay my taxes. Okay, well, get help. And you're like, yeah, but I, I don't know who to choose. Dig up the dirt. 
leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe. And Taurus, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.